At first glance, it looks like an otherwise large empty hall with an oversized TV. However, this is the future of automotive design. In fact, the future has already been a reality at Hyundai for some time. Matthias Ulig will now give us an idea of what it looks like. This immersive feeling or the, the feeling of the reality is so much real when you have a space like this. So here we have a space which is 20 by 22 meters, where about 10 designers with our setup can walk around in real time and experience a car and they discuss the design and different design variations in the virtual space. Here in the room we have 48 cameras which have active tracking assigned to it. So we have goggles from HP and on these goggles the company OptiTrack brought a little clip and on this clip there are eight trackers that give light signals to the cameras and these cameras then triangulize the position within this big space. This technology has significantly changed how creative work is undertaken. Thomas Berkler will now explain how. Of course, I grew up with clay work, working with very talented modelers. But nevertheless, um, this digital pencil the designers are using today is definitely another world because they can express themselves by themselves without the transition of a, a modeler. Of course, we communicate with our headquarters 10,000 kilometers away, and we can stand uh, side by side. Simon Losby, head of uh, styling and design, he is in Korea. At the same time, he's beside me, and we are looking with laser pointers on a bumper corner, and we say, ah, it needs a bit more section, this bumper. There's some volume missing, and we could do this and that. Being able to work this way has one main advantage, as it saves time. So we have optimized the workflow that almost instantly, within basically 10-15 minutes, we need to have the model ready. So we work parallel in developing this room here. We work parallel in optimizing the stream to get the data as quick as possible in our visualization software in order to be able to, to give the designer the immediate and the advantage of the virtual world, the immediate response in 3D. Today, people who work in Hyundai's European Design Center are equipped with unique skills and undertake tasks that could not have been imagined a short time ago, like Philip Langer. I'm using these data to create a visualization model, to create visualization data and add materials, add lighting, adding a structure, um, getting all the information I can have and put them into a, a virtual uh, a car, a digital twin. And we can discuss it worldwide. And this dynamism really is boosted through the virtual and digital working. And then maybe go back from the 3D model and, and sketch over it. You know, there are so many opportunities. It's not just one by one, it's going back and forward and back and forward. However, touch and haptic cannot be digitalized yet. We show the interior with fabrics and different materials. We had the fabrics already physically in our hands. And then we were scanning these fabrics. What is new is that in this virtual world, we can see how the fabric works in combination with wood, with different materials, and we can play with it. This enormous push towards digitalization that Hyundai's designers are currently experiencing is certainly having a significant impact on Hyundai achieving its ambitious goal of being climate neutral as quickly as possible. By digitizing the entire design process, countless face-to-face -face meetings and reviews will become unnecessary and exciting, more efficient models will find their way onto the road faster.